guys welcome back to the channel today we will be going through cambridge primary checkpoint paper 2 from october 2023 right uh, so this is paper 2 uh, you can use calculator in this <coughs> you may use calculator here right so uh, without any delay let's start and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and also if you like the video press the like button uh, now number one we have here write 2.3 hours in minutes 2.3 hours uh, so one hour is 60 minutes so we are just going to multiply it by 60 so 2.3 times 60 which is 138 so final answer is 138 minutes question number two uh, write a number in each box to make the statement correct so this is 2 over 5 so answer supposed to be 2 over 5 that means 2 divided by 5 so here divide so we will have here 2 divided by 5 that is 2 over 5 now next write down the name of the regular polygon with uh, rotational symmetry of order 3 so as you can uh, like know from this diagram this is an equilateral triangle having three lines of uh, sorry three sides equal and rotational symmetry is a symmetry when you rotate the shape and uh, to 360 and you are going to get the same same shape so if i am using this uh, tracing paper here so if you see just to show you so i can take this as a center like one two and then when i turn it around to 360 so i'm going to get again the same shape so that shape has <coughs> rotational symmetry of order uh, three so we can write down equilateral triangle right now number four ahmed translates a shape uh, on a square grid tick all the statements that are always true now let's say uh, i have uh, this triangle and we want to translate translate means moving from one place to another right so translating is to move so when we move so shape like it doesn't change his shape or size so that's what is explained here we will uh, see one by one the new shape is same the size is the same size as the original shape so it's not going to change so that means this is true the new shape is uh, a rotation of the original shape so it can be a rotation also where because when you move up and down it can uh, change it can change its direction so this is not gonna be correct for all uh, the new shape is same as the original shape so shape is going to remain the same <coughs> the new shape covers part of its original shape it depends like how much you move like uh, let's say uh, this is uh, two uh, square here if we just move one unit it can um, cover even a part of that so that means so this one is not true for all right so now let's move to the next question uh, we have a question here draw a circle with radius 4 centimeter and center o we are given center o and we need to have radius of 4 centimeters so we are going to open this to 4 centimeters so open here uh, this uh, compass to 4 centimeters this is 4 centimeter here here then you just place your needle on point O then you are going to <coughs> like this okay so you see my compass is bit you know it's loose so you need to be sure that it is tight properly so that it give you exact the same shape right uh, now number six uh, fraction you can see we have fraction decimal and percentage 
so complete the table of the equivalent values so this is a fraction this can be uh, like we can break it 5 times so this is 1 times 5 plus 1 over over 5 denominator remains the same uh, so 5 plus uh, 5 times 1 is 5 and then plus 1 is 6 over 5 so fraction is 6 over 5 so 6 divided by 5 to make it 6 divided by 5 to write it as a decimal so 1.2 so to change in 2 percent time 100 so multiply it by uh, when we change this to this one we are going to multiply by 100 which is 120 right. So now in the second one we are given the percentage percentage to decimal uh, this is like 30 over 100 right 30 over 100 it is going to be 0 0.3 in decimals and writing in fraction when you simplify this brings here 3 over 10 right now this 50 54 0.54 so there are two decimal uh, two digits after decimal so there will be two zeros with one so times 100 it will become 54 for this one and for this one is uh, for the fraction 54 over 100 divide it by 2 divide it by 2 this is 27 over 50 so we can't uh, simplify it further so 27 over 50 is going to be the answer for number 6 question 7 plot a uh, sorry point a is plotted on the coordinate you can see point a here a is here write down the coordinates of point a and so first we will see along x axis along x axis this is at negative 3 so negative 3 and along y axis it is at 2 so negative 3 and 2 is the uh, <coughs> coordinate plot point this 3 over 2 minus 4 3 over 2 is 1.5 right uh, half of 3 and minus 4 so x negative 1.5 x negative 1.5 is here and minus 4 is going to be here so this is point uh, this part b here right uh, so now next one is write a common multiple of 12 and 18 so multiples of 12 12 times 1 12 12 times 2 24 12 times 3 36 12 times 4 48 similarly write multiples of 18 18 times 1 18 18 times 2 36 so we got already common multiple so even you can write a more 18 times 3 is 54 so this one is common here so a uh, one so we have just it's written write a common multiple so we are just writing one here so we can write down 36 right uh, next write a common factor of 12 and 18 12 factor is uh, factors are the numbers that divides uh, the number so one divides this two also divides 3 3 times 4 4 also uh, and here for 18 we have 1 2 2 times 9 3 times 6 is 18 and 6 times 3 is 18 so we can see a common multiple here is all these are common multiples right so you can any write any of these I can write here 2 you can write 1 or 2 or 3 any of these numbers right <coughs> Now number 9, Oliver predicts the girls that girls have longer name than boys, right? Uh, he designs 4 questions to investigate his prediction. Uh, tick to the question that has the least, is the least helpful for his investigation. Uh, so which is not actually helpful. Now first one is what is your name? When they will tell the name, so obviously we will know is it long or short so this is helpful how many letters are there in your name that also helps to know name is longer or shorter is your name long or short so long or short so if they say long or short that's gonna just say yes or no but it does not compare with the boys and girls so this is least helpful here how do you spell your name when you have the spelling you can easily know uh, the name is shorter or longer right so now this one here is 2 over 3 plus 1 over 4 so we need to have the denominator same to add 
so we can multiply here by 4 by 4 here by 3 by 3 up and down so this makes it like 4 times 2 8 over 12 plus this is 3 over 12 right so now 8 plus 3 is 11 over 12 because denominator is same so we can add directly so answer is 11 over 12 right now 11 number question tick all the shapes that could have an obtuse angle scale and triangle what is scale and triangle a scale and triangle is a triangle having three different sides so we may have triangle like this so it may have obtuse angle rectangle rectangle is like this it doesn't have acute obtuse angle because all the angles are 90 right and parallelogram so if we draw parallelogram like this so you see this angle is obtuse this angle is obtuse so this can have obtuse angle right now pentagon pentagon also a side having uh, five sides so like this if the shape is like this it can have also uh, an obtuse angle right now number 12 complete the statement using a uh, correct word in the number 7.4199 9 represents 9 what this is tenths hundreds this is thousands so we will write here thousands thousands with the ths right uh, now number 13 here is a part of the sequence 23 17 and 11 the sequence sequence continues in same way draw a ring around all the numbers that are in the sequence so first of all we need to see how this is decreasing so let me see uh, 27 uh, 23 minus 17 so we subtract minus 6 from here subtract 6 from here continue subtracting 6 6 then we can write down so 11 minus 6 is uh, can just do here Il, uh, sorry 11 minus 6 is 5 then 5 minus 6 is minus 1 then again minus 6 is minus 7 so we can say see we have a 7 here then again minus 7 which is negative 14 minus 7 minus 21 minus 7 is minus 28 we don't have these numbers yet minus 7 again which is negative 35 minus 7 again 42 minus 42 minus 7 again it's minus 49 so you see we have here 35 and we have 49 so these are the numbers that are like uh, in the same sequence right now number 14 number 14 it's a bit tricky you need to be careful uh, draw a line to match each number to the correct description we have some uh, this like 136 tenths greater than this one or less than this one so we need to see how is this uh, working actually 136 tenths what does that mean 136 tenths meaning 136 times 1 over 10 tenths means so this is 13.6 13.60 we can write so this is greater than this one so it will going to be we are going to match it here now the next one is one zero uh, six four one thousand is this hundreds hundreds much meaning uh, one over hundred so this will become ten point six four right ten point six four is again greater than no sorry sorry ten point this is thirteen point so this is less than right so 125 tenths 125 tenths means 125 times 10 and meaning plus 42,000 thousands means here like this so this is 12.5 plus 40 0. Point, uh, so decimal will come here 0 0.042 right yeah so it's gonna be 12 point it's 12.542 so this is again this is going to be less than this one here right so next one here is uh, this one is one tenth one ten ten 
and 75 tenths 75 tenths means 7.5 right so this will become 17.5 which is greater so we will put here here is 110 that is 10 40 tenths 40 tenths meaning 40 times 1 over 10 plus something right so if you see this is 14 plus something 14 plus something is obviously uh, greater than this one so we are going to put it here right so that's how you are going to do this question i hope you guys understood everything uh, i will wait for your feedback in the comment section thank you so much guys be blessed kindly sh uh, share and subscribe the channel see you in the next video